What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through the Pythagorean trig identities. So let's take a look at this right triangle here, and let's say I call this theta, and then this side here we'll label as O, this side we'll label as A, and this one we'll label as H to represent the side opposite adjacent to theta and the hypotenuse. So if I look at a few trig functions here, I'm going to look at sine of theta is the ratio of the side opposite to the hypotenuse, and cosine of theta is the ratio of the side adjacent to the hypotenuse. And the first main trig identity that you learn of the Pythagorean identities is if you take cosine, I'm sorry, sine squared plus cosine squared, or the other way around. If I square both of these and add them, sine squared is the same thing as opposite squared over hypotenuse squared. So I'm just multiplying this by O over H. And if I square this fraction, I'm gonna get A squared over H squared. So this just represents another representation of sine squared plus cosine squared. But now when I want to add those two fractions together, I can combine them because they have the same denominator. So I have O squared plus A squared. And if you think about it in this right triangle, O squared plus A squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. That's just the Pythagorean theorem. That's why they call these the Pythagorean identities because you could derive it using Pythagorean theorem. And then H squared divided by H squared is just equal to one. So what this tells us, this gives us the first and main formula here, that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is always equal to 1. And now what we could do with this, so let's take a look at the other formulas, is that we could start with this formula here, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And I always forget the other Pythagorean identity formulas. But what we could do here is we could divide everything by let's say cosine squared and you'll see what this does in a moment but when we divide everything by cosine squared notice here is sine squared divided by cosine squared well sine over cosine is tangent so this is just going to work out to tangent squared and then anything here divided by itself is just equal to one except zero but we'll just assume that we're not evaluating this at a location where cosine is equal to zero so we have tan squared plus one and now 1 divided by cosine is the identity for secant. So if I have 1 over cosine squared, this is going to be equal to secant squared like this. So now we have two formulas. We have the original formula, and we also have this new one that I boxed off in red. Tangent squared plus 1 is equal to, t uh, to secant squared. Of course, tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. But now there's one more that we could derive here. And the way that we're going to derive it is, let's say now we once again start with the original one, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. But this time, instead of dividing by cosine squared, what if now we divide by sine squared? So we divide this entire equation, all three terms, by sine squared. And when we do this, you'll see how this works out. Sine squared divided by sine squared is 1 plus cosine over sine is the identity for cotangent. So this is going to become cotangent squared theta. And then one over sine theta is the identity for cosecant. So the right side is going to work out to cosecant squared theta. So this is the third formula here. And of course, there's variations of these formulas. Like I could say tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta minus one. But these are the main three that you need to know. But most importantly, I would say that you really want to make sure you know this one. Because once you know the main formula, it helps you derive the one that I have written here in red and blue. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on deriving the Pythagorean trig identities. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.